Ah, I see we've reached the land over there. I mean, we have before. Oh, hi. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of our Let's Play. As you can see, we're expanding our resources. We are now landing on some of these islands and collecting stuff. Nah, I just thought it'd be really cool to build one of those ships landed over there. I might do it all over the place. I'm slowly getting rid of this long bridge that goes off into the void. Whoa, that looks creepy. It's probably dark matter over there. But what should we do today? We might work in here some. I might go back to the house and work over there some. You know what I just found out, by the way? I got some more loot here. I found out, you all probably knew this, but I didn't. The main end island over there, I didn't know all of these islands around it go all the way around this. I thought it was only in this general direction. I went way over there and I found more. I didn't know it all surrounds this. All right, we're home. Time to take this stuff down. It's good to be back home. Who are you? I know exactly who you are. This chest has been here for years. <laughs> you know what? I'm tired of it. I'm gonna leave it. Just kidding. Why is it even here? There's, what? It's just here. I think that was here when I built this. That's how old it is. Was it that hard to pick it up? I have 50 shulker shells now. I can make 25 more shulker boxes. That's insane. The sewer. Something seriously has to change here because I really dislike this little conglomerate of a mess right here and this giant wall. It just doesn't transition well. It's hard to get down here and I don't have a way to get up over there. I don't have a way to get down here now. So I want to get rid of this pipe. I just want to get rid of this weird section, all these chests. Because I meant to make the sewer a place I want to go to, but I don't come down here a whole lot because it's just really awkward and hard to maneuver through. So I'm going to do my best to come up with a new design over here. Okay, I have that pipe removed. I have my chunks on five, by the way, because building around the house is just really stressful on my computer. Even right when I look around here, my frames are really bad. So it's just like, I'm starting to think it is still that common question of the day room with all them signs. I, I don't know how else to explain it. So I'm gonna make a tough decision here. These chests house lots and lots of paper. Well, paper that's been turned into maps. This is our old map wall. But as you know, we recently redid it and I don't want to use these maps again because it's old. I'm making the tough decision. I'm letting them all despawn. I have no use for them. That's a lot of maps. <laughs> oh, that's the Stone Islands. Nice. What about this one? Cool. Nice. Actually, I'm going to keep that. I like blue. Oh, that's the blue one I want to keep. You know, I'm going to keep that one too. I'm going to frame it for Stone Islands. <laughs> All the rest of you can go to H-E double hockey sticks. Ready to see what it was like back in the day? Oh. <laughs> How much better does my game run? Oh man, look at this. This looks exactly like the old pocket edition. No smooth lighting, no fancy graphics, no fancy leaves, no sky. Well, I had the sky on sometimes. I wanna get the full experience though. I wanna go put on the old texture pack. Oh man, you can just tell by the wood right off the bat. Oh, and the glass. Oh, I can't believe we used to play like this. Oh, God. Without smooth lighting, this looks terrible down here. Wow. All right, well, that's enough of that. Dang it. I was getting my coffee for the day. I think it's thunderstorming. <laughs> I want to go get some heads. Hang on. Hang on, world. Uh, uh, I need to put this crap in here and, and flip the lever. Is there enough coal? Not really. I'll put some in there, but I can't. All right, let's go get some heads. Here comes Thor. The only place I'm going to do this is over in No Man's Land. It's a perfect place. Wait, is it thunderstorming? That's a lot of zombies. Is it? Oh, yeah. So I need skeleton and creeper heads. I could care less about zombies. 
And he already despawned. I love this game. It's like he was literally 20 blocks away from me and he despawned. Yeah, there you go. Oh god, now you got wrecked, buddy. Uh oh. This ain't good. This is really not good. Oh, this ain't good! Oh! Oh god! Oh god, oh god. No, I wanted a skeleton! Dang it. Oh, you don't even get zombie heads from them. Well, that was a waste. Oh, wait. I did get it. Nice. All right. We got that. <laughs> that works. Blew up one of my trees. We got plenty more holes in no man's land now. Boop. I'm going to task myself with something, and it's actually pretty simple. I'm finishing this dang roof. Look at that. That's We're not doing that right there. That's the sun roof. I could even make it wait. I could even make that wait bigger. Let me get rid of one line on each side. Maybe that'll finish it for us. There we go. Is that sunroof too big? No, I think that's good. But we'll third... No, I definitely need more than 30 pieces here. Or maybe not. No, that's definitely more than 30. I just want it to be over with. Do you know how long this roof is taking to construct? Well, I'm sure you do know because you've been watching. It's a lot. It takes a lot. And I still don't have enough. Son of a... Oh, God. How many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need 18 more blocks. Huh. So, from the looks of things, this used to be a small tree line, and I keep adding more and more trees, and I might as well just turn all this area into forest. And in the process, I'm like, I think I want to throw a little wooden, like, log cabin down here. So, let's do that. <laughs> oh, wait. I even have this over here. Eh, I think it would look better in the tall trees, so I'm going to clear out a little spot over here. I'm going to plant more trees over this way, and we can start building our little cabin. Just land on my solid smoke real quick. As you can see, I just added that much right there. I think it looks alright. Added some tall grass in some areas, but I made a nice little opening spot. I guess I'm going to make it with oak. Right? Does that make sense? Right here. Maybe I should make it with spruce, because we're in... No, oak it is. <laughs> Ew. What is wrong with oak logs in this game? Why did they make them so bad? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I have two of them right there, and you can't even tell them apart. But when you strip them, let me show you, you can tell a little bit of them apart by them adding some shadows along the edges to show that they are actually round. But that just looks terrible. So I guess I'm going to use spruce instead? I don't know. Man, that doesn't even look good. Why did they make logs look so bad in this game? <laughs> okay, before I continue any further than this, I need to check if I actually like these colors. <laughs> Aw. Ha! <laughs> You're lucky I missed. Okay, they're not bad, but still the oak logs are just weird. I'm gonna be honest, this is not my best log cabin at all. This just looks kind of weird. Ugh. I don't know if I like it. Crap. After all this work. Maybe I need to get rid of... One of those. Huh? That makes it look a little bit better, I think. I don't know. I made it look a little better. It's all just experimenting. That's what you have to do with builds in Minecraft. This looks alright. I'm still not 100% happy with it. I had a little... Roof thing there. Um, working with oak on the inside. Just added the windows in. Made a stairs to get up here. Added a window there. And I'm going to put a smokestack right there. Um, so I really want to decorate this place to look like a hunter's cabin. So I will do just that. I'll try to at least. This usually never happens, but the first block I pick, it actually goes so well with oak. The cobbled deep slate. Yeah, I think this will be a good fireplace color. So, how do I want to do this? I don't know if I like that. I'm getting rid of you. You know, this new deep slate, I kind of forget how good it looks. I want to start using it more. My new builds. <laughs> because I don't really, I didn't really carry it around with me. Okay, where's it at? You have this. I only had like a few in here, so I never had the chance to actually grab it and work with it. Oh, I forgot about all these variants too. Oh yeah, 
Polished deep slate was my favorite because it actually looks like a metal block. Anyway, I got that built in here. Um, now I do think I want smoke to be coming out of the top like a normal chimney. So, see I'm gonna have to put spruce trap doors around the top if I want smoke to come out. I guess it's worth it, right? Yeah. Look at that, perfection. How's that look? Okay, it doesn't look too bad. But I still would prefer that not to be there. Ah, beautiful night's rest in my king size, maybe queen. Or two twins pushed together. Bed. Ah, it's a beautiful day. Uh, so, I mean, there could be some more decorations I could do in here, such as up here. I need some bookshelves, but I don't have any. <laughs> so, that's that. I guess... I could probably put some chests under these, which I'll probably do. Um, but down here, just kind of simple. Add a few decorations. A skull of the man I killed. This is my hunting cabin, by the way. This is no one else's. So this is where I come to relax and escape the world. I'm probably going to put, like, a brown carp on the ground here to make it look like, well, a pelt. On the outside, I just threw on a side thing like this to make it look like a, a cow carcass or a deer. I wish we had deer in this game. And they were, like, hard to hunt. Like, they run fast. If you shoot it with an arrow, like an unenchanted bow, it'll like run really fast and you have to track the blood on the ground. I said this before, it was a while ago, but I'd like that. Around back, I just have a little section where I just work on stuff. Um, yeah, I think this is a somewhat of a finished build. I'm just going to add a few more decorations on the inside. I love the way it turned out. What do you guys think? Just want to thank some of the new donors. I didn't have the chance last episode. Logan Wagner, Mason Parker, Wyatt Smith, and Carlos Brights. Thank you guys all so much. And speaking of donations, let's go see if our villagers have grown up so we can place some more names on them. I don't think my eyes are fooling me. Maybe it was just a particle I saw flying through the air. But it looked like something fell from the sky and landed over here. And it made me think, how cool would that be if there were events like that in Minecraft? Maybe a meteor falls or... Something just from another universe falls. Maybe something from the end crashes into the ground. That's actually what I think Minecraft needs more of, is live events. But anyway, uh, we got I got four more names off the wall. I'm picking these, by the way, if you're new here. Uh, people who donated more than $50, uh, they go up on that wall, and I'm going to take all the names off of it and turn them into scientists and professors and just people working in the lab. Okay, there's Professor Anderson. You look like... And Dr. Mills. There's Dr. Mario. Oh, there's still a bunch of babies. See, I'm still not sure if they keep their names if they grow up, so I'm not going to risk putting a name tag on them yet. With the amount of name tags we're going to have to use for this, I don't want to risk wasting any. I'm sure it will. I think I've done it before, but I just don't want to risk it. But I got Dr. Patel, Professor Melvin, and Dr. Kaja. No, we don't have a name. It'll be Dr. Kaja. Or Kaha. I don't know. Hey, I'll take that. Guess you never know what you'll find in here. Dirt. All this is full of dirt. All of it was cut in half, remember that? All... I still can't believe I've went through with that. Everything in my world, every chest in my world, all the items inside, like, got halfway deleted. <laughs> that was insane. Um, I'll go ahead and answer today's comic question, which comes from... Ghost Kid 0000. Do you plan on doing major builds inside the new caves? So this is one thing I've been trying to figure out since we've got new caves and cliffs. Uh, a lot of things are changing in Minecraft and that's starting to lead me down the road of when I should start a new world. Now with this new transition technology, we won't get so many chunk borders anymore, which is pretty nice, but we do have to travel a pretty fair distance away to find some of this new stuff. And if I do that and I have a major build out there, how often am I going to visit that area? And is it worth doing that in this world when we could create a new world and possibly turn that into our main base of operations if we decide to build underground? That's also my other question is, what kind of major project would we do underground? Like a whole civilization of some sort? As cool as that would be, I feel like it would, it would get really old really fast. In my experience of building underground, I I get more bored than that than builds above ground because you kind of miss the surface. You kind of miss different biomes. So in all reality, if we did create a new world, I think I would wait until that new mangrove swamp. My dream is still to build in a swamp. I don't know why. 
I've done it once in the Nomadic Survival, but in Nomadic, we move eventually. I stayed there for literally, I think, two or three episodes. <laughs> but if I were to build a major project underground, it would probably be just like a, kind of like a city of some sort. I think that, oh, actually, one of my goals was always to make like a dwarven city from Skyrim, just made out of gold. Not, well, I wouldn't actually use gold. I'd probably use a lot of yellow <laughs> blocks, but yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by today, checking out my video. Made it to the end, you're awesome. I'll see you in the next episode. Sarah Creeper, stop. Bye-bye. <laughs>